This, my friends, is one of the very first Manfrotto beefy live tripods. And they actually gave it to me several weeks ago before it even hit the market to test it and give you my honest opinion of what I thought. I've been using Manfrotto tripods since I can remember. We have a big, heavy red camera that we're used to filming, but we do all of our time lapses on DSLR cameras on the Canon 5D. So I want to see if this is good for that and kind of give you my opinion with that. And this is kind of known for having a really fluid head with a really small tripod body. So let's put it to the test. Now I am going to open the box right now. Where are we, Deb? Oh yeah, in case you're wondering, we're in Barcelona, Spain on one of our next video shoots and we wanted to test this actually on location. So instead of us just trying it out in the office, that's not very real world experience. Um, oh, and it comes in a little bag. So this, in that. theory, has a fluid head on it and I can do time lapses and not have to worry about anything. And legitimately, I'm like not used to a tripod being so small. And most tripods that are this small, they don't have a fluid head on them. So that's kind of one thing, oh, now I see how they're able to make it so small. Like I'm, I'm experiencing this for the first time with you guys watching it. Oh, and that locks away. <laughs> so this is it. And let's just kind of see right now how far or how high you can go with it. Because it, it goes all the way down to this. And I am seeing right now that it's like the same size as my head. Loosen this a little bit. Now I have a tripod. Now, I realistically will not be using this for like a big heavy red camera. This ain't gonna handle that, I don't think. But for the DSLRs, this is like what this is made for specifically. And especially for people like me who are traveling, carrying a lot of heavy equipment, I now have something light where I don't have to haul it all over the place. So I'm gonna put it to the test all day today and I will let you know my honest opinion after the day is over with. So Carter, you were actually filming this as I was opening for the first time. What do you have to say about it from what I you just saw? I am very excited about this. I walked around all of London for eight days with the biggest, heaviest tripod on my back. It was the worst, I hated it. They kicked me out of everywhere because it was so big. I'm not gonna get kicked out of places. It's small, it's compact. Um, I'm stoked to try this thing out. You're gonna see a time lapse right now that I did with this tripod from the other side of that pond of La Sagrada Familia. Stay tuned. First off, it is the easiest tripod we've ever worked with as far as being super light, small, compact. So in my research, this is the smallest fluid head tripod on the market. So fluid head, what does that mean for people that don't know a ton about tripods? Well, let me show you. And now I can adjust this and I can now do smooth hands left to right or I can go up and down depending on what I'm adjusting or not adjusting. Or I can kind of do a little bit of both. And I'm actually gonna cut the footage that was all 100% shot with this fluid head just to show you what this can handle. Because most small tripods, they don't have fluid heads on them that can capture slow or fast movement for that matter. So this is an amazing tripod to deal with that. But this is definitely the smallest fluid head tripod on the market for that matter. Anything DSLR related, this is gonna work perfect for you. Um, anything bigger than this camera though, from my own experience with this tripod, I probably wouldn't suggest it. But this wasn't made for the big heavy duty cameras. This was made for DSLRs or anything smaller for that matter. One thing that's amazing about Manfrotto, in my opinion, is it uses a Manfrotto plate head. So we have a lot of different Manfrotto tripods. So it works with the bigger heavy duty ones. It works with the smaller little baby ones. I don't even know if you'd call it a baby one. Um, but it'll also work with the glide cam. So I can take this straight off of my glide cam, put it straight onto this tripod or this tripod and keep on filming. So there's no downtime with me having to trade or change out the actual tripod plate. So for me, that's another big deal of why this one's important is it doesn't take some kind of weird or smaller 
tripod plate. Um, it takes kind of the standard Manfrotto plate. So if you have any typical Manfrotto tripod, this is going to work on that. So I am right now putting the camera onto the fluid head. Mm -hmm. So this right here, if I push this button right here, that's a quick release plate. You want to kind of balance your camera so it's kind of not front heavy or back heavy. So it kind of depends on what lens you're using. So I kind of just kind of loosen up usually this right here. Now this lever, this is kind of adjusting how much it handles the weight. So I'm trying to kind of evenly balance it. Now that's pretty evenly. So because it's evenly balanced right here on this, when I kind of go up and down, left and right, it's gonna be able to handle that movement significantly better. Generally speaking, you always want your horizon to be level. So why does this matter? Let's just say you are on an uneven surface where you have like bumps or this or that. For this sake, let's just say I'm gonna put my cell phone right here and let's just say this is a surface that I'm actually filming on. Now I can definitely adjust my legs and make it so it's perfectly level. Another way to kind of fight that or kind of counterbalance that is I can undo that and then I can level it this way. So now I can kind of set it and then there's a level right here, um, the little bubble. So I can level it perfectly. I just leveled it, it's perfectly level right now and I can continue shooting. So this is a big deal um, for me, it's something I'm really excited about. But this is our experience, this is our honest opinion. They did send us out this tripod, I said that at the very beginning of the video, but I was free to say what I wanted or what I didn't want on this. I'm giving you my honest thoughts on this. Right before we did the final kind of wrap up on this video, I actually looked up the tripod online. Everywhere that I've looked, including B&H, Best Buy, and Amazon, um, is all getting four and a half to five star ratings. Um, out of those three websites, Amazon was the cheapest. Um, to buy it and then um, Best Buy and also B&H followed after that. They also have a carbon fiber version as well that's a little bit more expensive. So this is already super light but you want something even lighter and even sturdier. They also have that version for you super camera enthusiasts. Super thanks to Manfredo for hooking us up with the B3 tripod. Super excited about this. We will be using this in all of our videos. Um, especially when we're filming with DSLR cameras, when we're traveling out in the middle of nowhere, or when we're doing time lapses, I would 100% suggest this camera. Um, I would suggest that camera, but I'd also suggest this tripod. Um, phenomenal stuff, and I have nothing to complain about or say negative about this. So check it out today, something I 100% endorse, and I would not pay to say that endorsement. We want to know what you want us to talk about next. We have this channel, behind the scenes channel, tutorial channel, to cover things that you're interested in, passionate about, especially with camera gear. So what would you like to talk about next? And we will do our best to cover that. Um, thanks so much for watching, over and out.